Are you an affiliate marketer struggling to grow your YouTube channel? If so, this is a video for you. My name is Agnieszka and on this channel I share a lot of information about affiliate marketing and making money online. So if you are interested in this subject, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So in today's video, I want to show you a tool called TubeBuddy uh, that allows me to get more views uh, on my videos and as a result also more traffic to my affiliate links. So I will now jump on my computer and I will show you how it all looks inside and how do I use it. Uh, one more thing, stay until the end because at the end of the video I will be sharing with you a few tips um, in terms of how to use the keywords so that you rank uh, better in the search. So stay until the end. Okay guys, so now I will show you how it all looks when you install the TubeBuddy extension, uh, Chrome extension uh, into your browser. Uh, so when you log into your YouTube account, uh, you will see a TubeBuddy tab here and when you will go um, and select this tab, we will go into uh, the first function, the first one of the most important functions of TubeBuddy, which is the Keyword Explorer. And it's a place where you would want to go every time you are thinking about a video, because here you will find uh, a lot of ideas for um, your uh, current and uh, upcoming videos because uh, you will see um, the ranking uh, of these keywords so if, it, if it's a good choice in terms of um, search volume and competition and there are some suggestions done by TubeBuddy as well so uh, it can be it can bring you ideas for the next videos as well so just to show you something, we would go for a term affiliate marketing, which we already can assume it's a very bad choice because it's a very broad keyword and there is a lot of competition. But just to see what you will get uh, as a result, um, we will type affiliate marketing and as expected, the overall score is poor. So you get nine out of 100 points and it is showing you that although the search volume is very high, the competition is uh, also very high. So it's a poor choice in terms of uh, competition. And it's also not so well uh, optimized in terms of uh, search. It's better to, um, um, to uh, go for a uh, uh, keywords that are a little bit longer not just affiliate marketing so like affiliate marketing for beginners without a website or something like that and here you see uh, what are the video searches so also what um, YouTube is uh, suggesting when you start typing affiliate marketing and here are the web searches so if you can find and uh, a, a, a keyword that is high in video and web searches and has a good overall score, that would be for sure the perfect choice. And here you have video topics and it shows you the final uh, topics that, um, that are selected by people that upload videos with affiliate marketing keyword phrase. Uh, and here down uh, we have uh, most used tags because for each video you will want to um, include um, quite a few tags so uh, I always go for as many tags as uh, YouTube allows me so these are the suggestions um, around the affiliate marketing um, uh, subject um, what else do we have here we have results so these are uh, the actual results uh, in YouTube uh, search uh, for the price of lead marketing. So as you see, it would be really not a good idea to uh, select this phrase because here are just all the biggest affiliate marketers. So you would compete with um, the biggest ones. So if you're a small channel, there is so unlikely that you will appear on the first page that it's absolutely not um, worth going for this keyword phrase and here we have three other tabs that are for some um, reason now not showing any data well the reason 
is basically that uh, Google and YouTube don't want to show this data but before you could see like um, how the search results look in time so uh, if they're going up and down historically uh, in which countries uh, people are searching for these terms but as I've said uh, now uh, there is no information about that although it's saying not enough search it's not because of enough search it's uh, that Google is restricting this data so so let's just look for a good um, keyword um, phrase for this particular video so for example I would go for TubeBuddy um, uh, tutorial probably not so good as well it's poor it's even worse but maybe for YouTube tutorial oh and see it is uh, very good the search volume is um, not so bad and the competition is not high and it's well optimized for search so I would probably go for this keyword um, phrase for my uh, video and just to show you some um, other things uh, that happen when you upload a video um, when I go to my channel and for example I go to my recent video Get a bit up. sorry for that um, uh, so um, here you see um, how many uh, views this video have, how many likes, uh, how many comments. Here are the social uh, information and um, this is very important because these are the best practices that help you to rank uh, higher in the search. So what you want to do is uh, upload a high resolution thumbnail and also it is important to include your keyword um, phrase in the thumbnail uh, name so just make sure to do it because for example I make all my thumbnails on Canva and so when I save them uh, but I do them on the phone so when I sa uh, save them to my uh, camera roll it, it is saved with a random number name so I just then have to change the name manually and uh, I always make sure to do that be before I upload it uh, into the YouTube um, studio. Then info cards added. So like info cards uh, that you add when you are editing your video, suggested other videos and screen uh, where you can put a uh, button to subscribe or you can suggest some other video to watch. Uh, it is shared on Twitter, liked on Facebook. Captions added, comment pinned, uh, and comment hearted. So it is also all, all a good idea to just um, the first comment that you make is your comment. So like I do it here, so uh, you can uh, write what are your other social media platforms, and you just pin it, so you are meeting this criteria. And here we can see. Uh, the rank uh, where, where do I appear with this video in the rankings so like for the click magic training I'm currently number one and uh, click magic pixel 9 uh, click magic guide second so these are all uh, my results for my selected keywords and I also want to show you uh, how um, it is um, how it looks on the mobile phone because I do a lot of my work on the go uh, on my phone so TubeBuddy has a really nice uh, application um, for uh, for mobile devices and you can see there in real time um, uh, your views uh, your channel uh, main statistics and also you can check where you appear for tags and so I will show you just that in a minute so this is the TubeBuddy mobile app. So as you can see, uh, there are all main uh, channel statistics as well as results for the tags. Okay, so I hope you found that video helpful. You will find the link to TubeBuddy below in the description box. Uh, you can start with a free version. There are also more advanced um, 
paid version. I am personally using uh, the paid version, but the lowest plan for $9. And I will make a separate video showing you what more can you get uh, by uh, changing to this uh, lowest paid plan. Okay, so now the promised tips for the keywords. So there are four places that you have to include your keywords. So first one is of course the title. You have to include the exact keyword for which you wanna rank in the title. Then you have to include this keyword in the description box, in the description of the video a couple of times. And then you have to include this um, keyword also in the name of the thumbnail and the last place is the tags of course so don't forget about this before you post your video and see you in the next one